Hi, my name is Doug. I'm a transmission dispatcher with the California ISO. And today I wanted to give you a brief overview of what we do in real-time operations. Hopefully I'll help uh, you get a better understanding of how our real-time operations fits in and dovetails with the other services the ISO provides. So we have three functions in our real-time operations. We do generation, transmission, and interchange scheduling. Generation's a great place to start with this. So our generation dispatchers are actually controlling all the generation needed to match the ever-changing load. They're chasing the load all day to make sure it's balanced. They're coordinating with our interchange schedulers. The interchange schedulers are the ones managing all the scheduled uh, imports and exports, uh, the energy that we buy or sell on our ties with our neighbors. Uh, and so that becomes a component of uh, how much load's being served and our internal generation that's controlled by the generation dispatchers is actually uh, making up the difference and matching it so that it all balances out. Um, so the interchange dispatcher is, is really controlling all the ties. Generation dispatcher is making sure the energy, uh, the generation's all balanced with the load. And the transmission system ties all that together. It's how the generation gets to remote load locations. Uh, and so our generation dispatchers spend a lot of the day managing uh, equipment outages where they do normal maintenance on the equipment to make sure it's highly reliable. When we take that equipment out of service, we have to make sure that the system can operate reliably with it out. And so we're doing a lot of monitoring and uh, mitigating with uh, any scheduled outages we have. Um, we're also setting limits on the system and uh, posting and enforcing them. So the training we get to become a dispatcher at the ISO, the system operators go through, or I went through a two-year training cycle, um, spent a year in the back office doing a lot of academic work and getting familiarization with uh, real-time operations, and then another year actually on shift working with uh, experienced system operators and getting good at managing the system under all conditions. So a lot of times the uh, emergency operations becomes the biggest challenge in uh, managing real-time operations. Weather events, uh, you, you could have fires sparked by uh, lightning storms, uh, you could have wind storms and, and rain and it all impacts the transmission system. So besides our scheduled outages, the system operators have to be able to manage uh, un unexpected outages of equipment in real time and still make sure the system's operating reliably and all the load is balanced with generation. So what I hope you got out of this is a better understanding of uh, the real-time operations and when you learn more about the other services that the ISO provides, I hope this will help make it all uh, dovetail a little nicer and get a better comprehensive understanding of what the ISO does. Thanks very much for your time.